Hey guys, it's Angie, and I'm playing Cradle still. Um, <laughs> it's uh, I sound so resigned. <laughs> no, don't think that of me. I'm not resigned. I'm very I'm I'm very curious with this game, and I want to continue it. And I hope we we'll manage to get to the end. Um, but right now, what do we need to do? Uh, put the battery, help Ida connect to the web, run power to the network terminal underneath the TV, then turn it on. Put the batteries in the box under the awning. I'm not sure what's an awning. Like, is this some some kind of a, I don't know, my first guess would be some something like a recliner. But it doesn't look like this has anywhere to put batteries in uh, so I'm not sure I g give me a second I'll just check, <laughs> check the translation okay so an awning is like something like a like a small roof let's say like I think anyway uh, so I I don't know, we are under the roof, but... The on button is jammed, I can't press it. Okay, that's probably gonna be problematic. Uh, and let's look for the batteries. I don't think those are going to be like small batteries. So I don't know. Maybe this is a battery? This looks like a car battery, so maybe that's it. So let's take it with us. Um... And let's check the awning the, the Google showed me pictures of something outside like a small oh like this maybe that's a that's an awning <laughs> the problems of people who don't speak the language I mean I do the box is wired up I mean it looks maybe like the place where I'm supposed to put this battery oh yeah it is Okay, this looks like another battery. All right, and we need one more. So let's check. Maybe it's somewhere here as well. Can't put it. Can can I can't take this? Maybe it's underneath that. But let's just look some more. Noop 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 noop. Ah, there it is. Nice. Suspiciously easy. <laughs> uh, okay, so we have batteries. What now? Should I go inside and push some buttons? New task. Install a solar battery on the yurt's roof. Okay. So here we have the roof. I remember we've been here once and I said, oh, there's certainly going to be something we have to p do here. Okay, so the stand is mobile. There must have been something that that attached to it. Okay, maybe it fell somewhere here. Maybe it's just laying like right next to the wall. That would be easy, I would say, but no, it doesn't look like it. Um, maybe it's here. Oh wait, this looks like a solar panel. I guess it is. Let's try installing it. Uh, Bam, bam, and it, and it is. Ta da! Okay, so what now? Probably we need to go inside and turn this thing on. Yeah, but the button is jammed. Can't press it. Okay. Use the remote to switch the channel. Okay, but where's remote? Is this somewhere here? Like here? No, it's not on the table. The chest, oh, the chest have been. Are you the remote? No, you are not the remote. Maybe it's somewhere here? Doesn't look like it. Nope. Um, maybe it fell somewhere? Hmm. No, this is a stupid place to, <laughs> to keep our remote. No, that's not a good place as well. The remote control must be in the yurt, fell somewhere under the table or the bed. Oops, sorry. Okay, you stay here. 
I have no need for this. Under the table or under the bed? I was looking under the bed and there was nothing. Under, oh wait, is it, is it that thing? Come on, come on. Yeah, it is. Okay. The reason is both simple and evident. Simultaneous existence of two copies of the same person gives rise to problems we are not prepared to tackle, as clearly demonstrated by the sorrowful experience of the recent past. For now, strict prohibition on duplication and forced deactivation of existing duplicates remain the only solution to the situation. Deactivated neurocopies are retired into secure storage facilities for likely reactivation in the future when a legitimate solution is found. This is one of the cases when... Oh! What? Oh no! It broke! Ida, are you alright? Ida, our terminal burned down. I know, but I managed to check the number in time. You did? So what's the news? Are you going home? The news is bad. I no longer have originals right. There's nowhere for me to go. Why? I was restored. Three years ago, Ida Meyer was confirmed dead and restored from a reserve neurocopy. She currently lives somewhere in Geneva. We don't seem to have much luck. How did she die? It says here died in a despair toxin emission in 2058. This means you are now a duplicate? Correct. My very existence is illegal. But wait, does that mean that people are basically kept immortal? Because you have a copy of somebody's uh, personality in a body of a cyborg android? I'm not sure in an artificial body and when the person dies they have a copy stored somewhere and they are just putting up the copy putting it in a new body and here you are again like th that means basically that you can live indefinitely just by by being rebooted as your copy but the question is does the copy hold the memories of the original probably not Considering that Ida here uh, didn't know, but then again, she wasn't connected to the to the web, so maybe she just couldn't download the information that her original has because she's she's been disconnected. But does that mean that we have like uh, I don't know, growing population? Because certainly we know that there were children because she said that there were children coming to the amusement park, so. The population is growing, but if somebody has this M body and they die, they just basically are being restarted. So they don't, don't permanently die. So the population is growing. Like there's, that's, that's stupid. <laughs> okay, but never mind. Well, don't fret. We'll improvise. Improvise? Sure. We'll find you a normal body with legs. With legs? And then what? Then? Then we'll live our lives, selling flowers. Benibish, listen. When my battery runs out, I want you to put my flowers into secure warranty. I mean, into a glass cell, yes? That is a secure evacuation. I understand. What? What I mean is... Please put my neurochip in a cell which... Enemish. Into a camera of giants. Or a camera of dreams. What's with your voice? I don't know. A camera of tides? What are you talking about? I'm malfunctioning somehow. My thoughts are out of order. She connected to the internet for like two minutes and downloaded all the viruses. <laughs> but I think it's over. You need repairs. I don't need anything, Inibish. I'll be put to sleep soon. What? Disconnected. And for a long while, I bet. Wait, so have you... Have you triggered some kind of alarm by logging into the web with your ID? Because, like you said, you don't have the original rights, so what? Somebody picked up that the copy is 
connecting to the web and that that is active and and police is coming to take you so you've decided yes that is my decision so you wake up and go right back to sleep got it more like wake up get totally confused then go back to sleep what are you confused about the explosion for one thing I haven't a clue how I'm connected to it. You got caught in an emission. That's just bad luck. No, Enibish, it's not that simple. I found another mention of my name, here, in the database, in the search history. Somebody was searching for information about me. So what? What's so strange about that? The fact that it was the only query for my name in the entire search history. Made 20 minutes before the explosion. Hmm. Who made the query? A man named Mark. Mark Darren. He's listed as transfer operator. The explosion happened on his shift. There's even a recording of it. And also... How curious. What? Going by the recording, there was an equipment breakdown not long before the explosion. At around the same time the query was made. Yes, I want to know what happened there. So what? Some technician was checking you out on the internet, like, I don't know, googling on Facebook who you are because he saw a hottie and he didn't look at the equipment and it broke and you think that, what, it's such a, I don't know, contro controversy? No, conspiracy! What kind of a recording is it? A report. It was saved automatically. It mentions some kind of a malfunction that, because it wasn't corrected in time, forced a modification in the transfer procedure. And no, I don't know the nature of the modification. I haven't yet figured it out. Why do you even care? Is that really important now? It is to me. Because aside from these fragments of the past, I have more fragments of the past than... I mean... Oh, no. Ida. Hey. It happened again. I'm getting worse. I'll repeat. You need repairs. You need to know the cause of the problem before you can correct it, which I do not. Could it be those processing errors you've mentioned? Which errors? You know, the ones that accumulate over time. Impossible. I've just rebooted myself. They don't accumulate so quickly. Something else is happening here. Your voice is changing. If only it were just the voice. I'm at a loss. The reasons could be many. Could be my synchronizer is on the fritz. I've heard of cases when the neurochip malfunctioned due to a deteriorating link with the DNA. Either that or my neurocopy is failing. But if that's the case... Then she's going to die permanently this time. What then? Nothing. Let's just hope it's the synchronizer. Let's. Then we'll replace it with a new one. Sure. There's a new one here in the small. Distance close. Uh-huh. In the uh, amusement park. Give me the pavilion number. I'll go and get it. Is in six rooms soft. I wonder if her malfunctions, like w talking strange, is some kind of a play on the words like like maybe she wanted to say something else which has a similar sound but different meaning hmm. got it and um don't go crazy just yet try try yes <sighs> i mean since we but just rebooted this girl, we have nothing but trouble. But I guess that's what she gets for digging out the old brain and putting it in a faulty body. I mean, it's basically story of a Frankenstein's monster. <laughs> um, sorry, that was a, a bit too much. She's not a Frankenstein's monster. Um... She cannot go into the village and kill people. <laughs> There's no village here. Okay, Pavilion 6, let's go. 
<sighs> I wonder how far we would have to go to get rebooted. Like uh, Anabish said that if he's trying to leave this place, he'll just lose consciousness and, and wake up in, in his house. Right? He said that he would w wake up in his house. But basically that he would lose consciousness and he would lose memory. So does that mean it would restart the game for me? Hmm. I mean, we are so far in the game, I don't want to test it now, because if I would have to start over, that would... That could be a bit painful. Okay, so let's look for six, ten, uh, one, uh, three, five. Uh, this is this is not what we're looking for. Six. Where is six? There's two. There's oh my god, I can't see. But considering that there's uh, three. And there's 10. Okay, there's one, two, three, probably four, five. So that would be six. So let's try getting there because I can't see from here the number, but let's hope it, it will work. The elevator is out of order. Okay, so how am I supposed to get there? Hmm. Hmm. How can I get there the other way? Okay, can I get up? I cannot use this one. Can I get up here though? Here? Seems to be working. Have I been here the last time? I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, I'll try something I tried before um, uh, 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 I'll I'm probably going to fall I figured out I figured oh. out what kind of breakdown the report was referring to <laughs> blocked out for one of the kids that is he was talking to himself to his own copy God damn it, I missed the first part of what she was talking about. Um Fuck. How can I get there? Let's try again. But she said something that the kid was talking to himself or the guy was talking to himself. I'm not sure. Okay. Okay, let's try again. Is there a way to get to the other side? I mean, it's very simple to fall to your death. Um, but this looks like a way. I'm not sure if this is a right way, but it looks like a way. <laughs> Let's just, let's just do it. Oh, 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 fuck! Made it. Fuck, no! <laughs> I like how the second I said, hey, I made it, I just fell into my death. Ah. <sighs> okay, but we are one step closer. One step closer. To the edge. And I'm about to break! That's my version of Lincoln Parks in the end. No, wait, it's not in the end, it's one step closer. Jesus Christ, I haven't listened to them in ages. Uh, don't. Oh, sh no! God damn it! Wait, I didn't die? I didn't die! But I fell outside! Okay, okay. Where's the entrance? <sighs> the good thing is that I didn't die, so I did the, the screen didn't go black and, and you know didn't I didn't have to wait. But then again I had to run around the wall instead of respawning on the other side. 
<sighs> I will make it because I am sure that this is the way to get there. <sighs> okay, okay. You know what? I might wait. No, it's two. It's not four. God damn it. It's not the right way. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> it's not the right tower. Fuck, you can even fall through that small hole. You know what? Give me a moment. I will I will get there and and we'll be back in with our bullshit, okay? Or you know what? I think I will start the next so, uh, yes, I will start the next episode from the from the platform because I I don't know how long it will take me and I already wasted a lot of time and I don't want to waste waste your time. So, I just wanted to say thank you so much for your patience with me. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.